Hi everyone, Jason here, local tech expert. So I've got um, something else here. So I haven't done a video for a little while. Um, I've got a new camera, so I've been trying to make that work and it's been a fail so far, but I'll get there, I'll get there. It's just, I'm not really a camera person, but um, yeah, I've made things a bit harder for myself. But back on the, just the phone for the camera for the time being, just so I can get this one out. Gonna be a quick one because um, this will be another two-parter because I happen to find another beige 90s case. So this will be another uh, sleeper build. Um, I've sort of started to take it apart a little bit. So um, it's in nice condition. There's some kind of weird logo on the front there. Um, I'll bring the camera in a bit closer so you can have a look at it properly and I'll, um, I'll sort of explain what I, what I plan to do with this one. It's gonna be another sort of project one because although parts are standardized, um, like the motherboard's gonna fit, but um, in these old cases, cooling is always an issue because they didn't really think about it in, at that point. They weren't really running into um, uh, heat issues, Moore's Law sort of stuff. They weren't, weren't really hitting those, uh, those barriers just yet. So um, yeah, I'll bring it in closer and give you guys a look. All right, so like I said, I took the front off. Um, the front's just normal sort of clips, clip sort of style. But um, these old cases, sometimes the design isn't sort of the same as what it is these days. The, the whole, the whole uh, chassis side panels is one, one piece. Um, don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, all three top and sides all in one in one piece so there's no side panels to speak of but just that um, this one came it's still a bit dusty I've got to get the blower out and give it a good dust um, came with a floppy drive and a CD drive so that's a nice nice touch um, with the floppy drive it actually has this cable connected. If you don't know what that is, it's a ribbon cable. Um, it's been replaced by SATA cables, but this is what used to be connect all your drives up. So you can imagine the cable management when it was, if you had multiple drives with these things in there, uh, they break easy, they, yeah, they're just a nightmare. But that was a bit of a blast from the past, seeing those, that one of those in there. Um, it's called, Ribbon cable, IDE cable, the drives are IDE. Um, that's the floppy one, but the CD drive and, and hard drives used to have these as well. A little bit longer, I think. Um, so as you can see, there's no, no intakes whatsoever. So what I plan on doing is um, doing some cutting and grinding again. So I plan on cutting the bottom out, um, putting some couple of two couple of 120 mil fans in the bottom here. Cut the front out and do the same as an intake. Um, looking at the front panel, the intake's not gonna have a lot of uh, gap to bring air. There's a little bit in the bottom, but it's all blocked off by, by this plastic. So I'm gonna have to cut that out as well. So I'll cut all that plastic out, give it a little bit of breathing space anyway. Uh, It'll be basically that hole. Um, so 120 intake, 120 intake, 120 intake in the bottom. So three all up. And for exhaust, um, this has what appears, what appears to be a 180 in the back. So I've got to go dig around and try and find a 180, 180 fan for that. But apart from that, um, I've already I've fitted this power supply in there just to just to check that the cable's gonna run okay. Um, most of them are gonna be hidden sort of up in this uh, five and a quarter inch um, bay up in here. Maybe try and run some around the back. Um, hide them as as best as I can anyway. But um, the front panels are all standard sort of. There's a speaker, speaker there, which I'll get rid of. And I'll put the fan in, um, that one's the power switch, and then 
the front panel has the rest, but I'm definitely leaving these drives in here. Uh, I'll put a storage drive in there, um, probably an SSD. I'm not too sure what I'm putting in this yet, but um, it's probably not going to be as uh, as beefy as the last one. Probably a fourth gen i7, something like that. I've got one of those back there, so I'll probably put that in there. Um, be another fun build. I'll get the get the uh, jigsaw out and start start cutting this one. Um, so stay tuned and so you can see what how this one turns out guys. Thanks.